Made in Native Law Cases is a free database created at the Native Law Center, University of Saskatchewan, between 1980 and 1991. Only cases from 1763 to 1978 are in the database. This tutorial will demonstrate the basic search functions. Legal bibliography is a very big topic. To help you figure out what all the abbreviations mean, look at this tutorial from SFU Library. In this database, Browse Cases is the section to use if you already have the name of the case. I have read about the Calder case in BC and want more detail. My teacher has told me that it's a case from the 1970s, so I know it will be here. Select Browse Cases. The cases are listed in volume order. This doesn't really matter when you're searching on the internet. Use the browser search function to see if Calder is here. We can enter Calder and you see three cases. Select the first one. It is listed as Calder v. Attorney General of British Columbia. The case took place in 1969 in the British Columbia Supreme Court. Go back and select the second case. This was later in 1970 in the British Columbia Court of Appeal. Go back and select the third case. This case went to the Supreme Court of Canada in 1973. Not all cases go to the Supreme Court, but cases that do go there are considered influential in law. When you do not know a case name and want to research a concept, select Full Text Search. Notice the search tips below the search box. You can enter keywords or phrases. I want to find cases about hunting rights, so I enter the keyword phrase in quotation marks, hunting rights. The first entry, Regina versus White and Bob, is ranked at 100% relevance. Open it and look at, the, look at the phrases in italics at the top. These are called descriptors or keywords. We can see that Treaty Hunting Rights of Indians on Vancouver Island is here, so this is a very relevant case. We see that Calder is on the list and ranked at 89%. When we open it, hunting rights is not here in the descriptors. Search the text and we see where the phrase occurs. We can use AND to find cases that contain the phrase hunting rights and the case of Calder versus Attorney General. This database is very useful because it gives you the full text of relevant cases. Remember that the cases end in 1978, so you will need to continue your search in other databases. This concludes this tutorial.